U.S. intelligence sources are telling my colleague Zach Cohen that Saudi Arabia is now producing its own ballistic missiles with the help of China and is actively manufacturing these missiles in at least one location in Saudi Arabia. That's according to satellite images uh, provided to CNN. Now, this is an escalation from what CNN had previously reported in 2019, which is that Saudi Arabia was buying ballistic missiles from China and was kind of, you know, getting these large scale transfers of ballistic missiles directly from Beijing. This now indicates that they are actively producing their own missiles. They are still getting this technology from China. They're building it at a site that China actually helped them build as well. And this could have significant ripple effects across the Middle East. It could spark an arms race, for example. It could dramatically impact the Biden administration's ability to get Iran, which is Saudi Arabia's Saudi Arabia's bitter rival to curb its ballistic missiles program, knowing that Saudi Arabia is now producing its own missiles. Is Iran going to be willing to pull back its own program? So big questions here for the Biden administration as it tries to balance and calibrate its approach to getting Saudi Arabia to perhaps pull back the production of its missiles, as well as Iran to get, you know, to, to feel comfortable, you know, not producing its own missiles as its rival produces them with the help of China. So the administration now is trying to figure out how to respond to this. So what are they doing? What are they thinking about how to respond? So they're weighing sanctions on the entities that are involved in you know, uh, producing these ballistic missiles and transferring this technology to Saudi Arabia. But many in Congress don't feel that the administration is going to act strongly enough, particularly because the relationship with Saudi Arabia is so delicate. The relationship with China, of course, very delicate at this moment as well, because the administration is trying to re-engage with Beijing on issues like trade and climate and, of course, the pandemic. So they're going to have to act very delicately here as they try to pull back this uh, program. But they are emphasizing as well that this all began under the Trump administration. The Trump administration, of course, very unwilling to criticize Saudi Arabia to try to get it to act in accordance with, you know, international norms. And they're saying now the country and the world is kind of reaping the, the consequences of that.